was a bully, but the coach admits he should have handled the situation differently. And KCAL 9's Leslie Marine is live in Beverly Hills with more. Leslie. Good evening, Pat and Juan. Now, we did reach out to the coach that's seen in this video uh, to see if he wanted to do an interview. He declined, but he did tell me how this whole thing started. He says it happened at this quad area behind me here, and he says it was a member of the wrestling team and another student that were getting in a heated argument, so he decided to step in. Now, the question tonight, did he take it too far, and should he have been fired? Well, some parents and students tell me no. I feel like nobody is listening to us, and for sure nobody's listening to these boys. But that didn't stop a large group of student wrestlers, alumni, and parents from speaking to us Tuesday night outside Beverly Hills High School in support of their now fired wrestling coach. It's like I lost someone, it's like I lost a mentor. Coach Ryan Faintage was fired after this incident caught on school security video November 6, but was just made public for the first time. In the video, Faintage wearing black is seen talking to two students a wrestler and another student wearing green. A few seconds in, Faintage grabs the student in green and pushes him. They keep talking, but Faintage pushes him two more times before the coach leaves to get school security. And it is I that owe them that apology. Faintage, who was coached for 11 years at the school, spoke at a district board meeting last week, along with dozens of other supporters. And while I truly wanted to protect and safeguard my wrestlers, there was a better way to handle. The district sent us this statement saying in part, appropriate steps were immediately taken to thoroughly investigate the event. No stone was left unturned. Witnesses were interviewed and the video footage from before, during and after the incident was scrutinized. But students on the wrestling team, including some who witnessed the incident, alleged coach Faintage was standing up for another wrestler who was bullied. He gave a black eye to the wrestler who was this, uh, at the school, who the coach was protecting, who the coach was escorting out of school property to make sure he got home safe. I see somebody who stood up when no one else did. While parents, students, and even Faintich agree he could have handled this differently. I don't think one mistake should define a person for who they are. Instead, they define Coach Faintich like this. My son grew and matured and developed in ways that just wouldn't have happened without him. He really helped me, you know, strengthen myself and be able to become a successful wrestler. Him not being here is a is for sure a void in my son's heart. It's a void, a void in my heart too because like you said, how can you just how can you just do that? The school district does say that their decision is final. As for the student you saw being pushed, we know that they're not on the wrestling team. They do go to the high school, and we know that they were not seriously hurt. Reporting live, Leslie Marin, KCAL 9 News. Leslie, thank you. Well, Twitter is no longer fighting COVID misinformation.